what I told you a while back, like a couple weeks ago, if I died, what to do, who to call. Told you no, I told you if something happens to me to call my yeah, if um, well, I told you the first call, um, and if if it's not around or if, if um, if me and him are not on good terms, then talk to me. or talk. Those my main three, um, um, because those will be the three I'm gonna hand my journal to, and they're gonna give you a certain page. To read and it should tell you what to do after I'm gone. And it's it's, it's not a lot of stuff because I want to put a lot of weight on you, but it should be enough to get everything started with you, just in case. It's like I said, you guys prepare for this type of stuff, you know. I, I've been after my mom died, dude. I, I put a lot of thought on my life because anything can happen, bro. Anything can happen, man. And you know the thing is. We all don't know how we gonna go. Is it fucked up that I know how I'm gonna go? I, I I think I know how I'm gonna go down, bro. It's what? not by, it's not no heart attack or or it could be. It could be. I think it could be a heart attack, but no, asthma. No, not my asthma. I've um I've been going through things in my body lately, and it's it's like un, unavoidable. It's like a problem without an answer. And it's like, I don't want to tell people about it because it's like, suicide. It ain't, it ain't suicide. I, I'll just jump off the cliff. <laughs> I'll just end it right now, nigga. But no, it's, it's, it's not suicide because I don't feel suicidal. I mean, I, I was feeling suicidal when my mom was, you know, when my mom left the earth. But then I worked around that due to therapy and, um, you know, and, and my sudden epiphanies, but no, um, I've been going through things in my body and I did some research and I'm like, dude, like, no, nah, no. Nah. At one point I was frightened with it, but I was like, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah.
uh, Vegas Pizza. What was the last time y'all had them? I was telling him that too. I was telling William that he, he looked nice with that hat on. I didn't even know that was Charles. The rest of them, nice. <laughs> <laughs> You profited more than you be up early. Yeah. Uh, I say you profit. I say you profit your days more than you be up early. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just when you know when you get older, man. You value sleep so much, so it's like you don't really care if you, if you go to sleep late and wake up early. You you don't you know you want to get as much sleep as you can. Especially when you work, you know what I'm saying? But it's like I said, when I used to be young, I used to like love waking up in the early mornings. You know what I do love more than that though? I used to love staying up all night with my cousins playing games, beating those levels until it's daybreak. And then we try to hustle to see if we gonna go to school and feel like we sick and shit like that. Our parents really didn't look at, like, was, they didn't really eagle eye us that much to make sure that we did get up. Because the bus, would, you know, the bus would try to pick us up and our parents would be already at work. So it was up to us to wake up and go to school or not. We already had the house for ourselves. So when we, um, when we wake up, when we still play games and shit, we just stood home, bro. We just stood home and shit, man. And then when our parents did get home, we made sure that we wasn't at the house because by the time they get home, they expect us to still be at school. So sometimes we'd be at our friend's house and shit like that, playing games or whatever. You know, we had a down pack, man. But you know, the principal was still going to call. Oh, yeah. of course. Of course. Miss Smith used to always hustle our damn phone. But it was, um, we had, a, we had a way around that. We had a way around that shit. Yeah, man, I miss those days when I used to be young. What you used to do when you was young? Like, how, what was your days like when you used to stay up all night? What games you used to play? Mario Party with Fire Screen and shit. Oh, for real? Double Room 7. What else? Used to play Bloody War and shit. <laughs> Bloody War? Yep. So who was the best at that game? I know you used to talk about that game a lot. Who was the best at Bloody War? Byron. Who was this character? Long. <laughs> Damn. And who used to who used to get mad when they lose? You? You? I thought you was the, like the learning curve, man. I thought you would learn from ass woman. You probably you probably learned, but in the process you would get you'll probably get frustrated by losing a lot, right? Man, losing don't feel good. I give you that. It don't, but like I said, it's it's evidence of your haste. You know what I'm saying? At least that's how I look at it. You you come across enemies because of your failure, not because you just go there. You know, like that fucker Lubu from uh <laughs> from Wulong, bro. You fought him. Lubu from Wulong, the gang. You didn't get. Man, they got some weird ass names. I can't, can't keep that shit in my mind. This dude was riding a horse. If you fight anybody riding a horse, that's Lugu. He is no joke. Yeah, I don't remember that. You fought him? Mm -hmm. He was no joke, was he? That nigga a demon. <laughs> <laughs> it's the parent that be fucking me up. Yeah. And then when you knock his ass off that horse, then that's when you really get mad. <laughs> Two or part one. On what? Lugu. I think he was on part three or part four. One of those parts. Mm. No, 
but I, I look at it like this, man. When you're around me, when I'm over your house, let's stay up. Let's stay up. And man, man, do you know when we used to stay up all night trying to get that trophy? I, I, I would never forget that day we stood up all day playing zombie apocalypse. Remember that shit? We tried to do all that damn waves. You probably told yourself, you know, this is the last time I'm doing this shit with this nigga. Because ever since that day happened, you stopped staying late with me, man. Because <laughs> I try to stay late with you. But you like, nigga, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you probably, you probably, like, secretly told, you told yourself, I'm not doing this shit no more, man. That, this nigga got me fucked up right here, bro. Hell no. I heard that trophy, I went to sleep. You was already going to sleep, but I kept, I kept waking you up like, William, we ain't done. you like, fuck. <laughs> Fuck this shit, man. Fuck this damn game, man. Zombie Apocalypse was not bad, though. It was a fun game, but god damn. Damn, that, that, that game was so fucking repetitive. It was so damn repetitive. You said trying to get the final one. Uh, what's that game called? That, that shit you wanted me to play with. Mm, I know you're talking about, you're talking about um, that zombie game, right? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot all about that game. See, after I, after I reviewed that game, bro, you talking about Riddle Corpses. Yeah. After I reviewed that game, I left that game alone. Uh, I got a platinum on Yeah, I knew he was going to get a platinum on that game before I was. I knew he was going to get a platinum on that shit. Now you got to get the one on the beta version. <laughs> Fuck that. You fool. Fuck that. <laughs> that game ain't bad. That game is actually pretty fun. I, I understand. It's just the enemies can piss you off. Yeah. And then on, not only that, it's one of those you know it's secret. You cannot die while you while you on your way to the final boss because you lose all your shit. Really? Yeah. But you know, I did find a character that was really helpful. Who? You thought your girl was helpful? Nah, it's somebody way better than her. Who was that? I forgot her name. Um, Nori or some shit. I forgot her name. It starts with a head. But she's a magnet and she's a full time gold gold thing. Oh, that real that would help. That would help a lot. And she has a better drop drop rate when it comes to like getting dynamites and shit. What you doing with this guy? He just don't flow over there, of course. I was gonna play Fatal Frame because that, that, that other one came out. <laughs>
But yeah, bro, those are the good old days, man. We used to stay up all night, every fucking night, man. Remember when I had that, dude, remember when I had that Chrysler? That white-ass car? Even though I've been through a lot of shit with my Chrysler, that shit had the best memories, man. When we used to, like, when I, when I used to pick your ass up, and then I used to bring you to my house and shit late at night, man, my grandpa used to be getting mad as fuck. I was like, who was that? And I'd be like, that's weird. Oh, all right. <laughs> shit. And then we used to do, we used to go to fries and shit. We used to go to this we play, man. Man, that was when we used to work at the Hyatt, man. Dude, remember the Hyatt Hotel, though? We used to work at that motherfucker, bro. And then after that, man, we went to gay stuff, man. We was buying a lot of fucking shit, man. We was buying, dude, we, we bought shit that we still didn't play towards this day. I mean, when we bought all uh, Lost Planet 2, we played, we played like, what, 10 minutes of that? We didn't fucking like the game. Like, Lost Planet 2. We didn't like the way how that game was. And then Assassin's Creed 2, not only did I got the game and I got a platinum on it, your ass bought the collector's edition, you didn't even fucking touch that game. How the fuck did you get the collector's edition, you didn't even fucking play the game, bro? <laughs> like, you wish we should have switched. I usually got the regular game and I should have bought the collector's edition. <laughs> and then you was like, I'm playing, I'm playing, boy, we on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, nigga, and your ass still didn't touch Assassin's Creed 2. You got the box right there and everything. <laughs> like, the game, you didn't even fucking touch the damn game, nigga. It's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and I even told Marcus, I even told him, I'll buy it off. He was like, nah, I'm gonna play it. I'm a, we on the PS4, the PS Vita, and the PS5. They didn't even remaster Assassin's Creed 2. Nigga, you ain't gonna touch that fucking game. You ain't gonna touch that shit. At least I'll be buying a statue from you, damn. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Yeah, they gonna make you choose and shit on there sometime. But dude, those are the those are some good memories, bro. Those are those are like the those are the memories. That was like the limitation of us not worrying about shit. Every every week we got paid, and then we just talk about a game that was coming out or a game that we can download on the PS3. We shared each other's accounts and shit, and then we were just going buck wild in that shit, man. Remember that fucking game, Detuned? Remember that fucking game, bro? How can you forget that game? That game. When you were talking about that game, and you was like, hey, James, I know there's a game called Detune. I'm like, what the fuck is Detune? You was like, you play as a stupid-ass nigga that's in this fucking chair, and he just move his head and shit. So I'm like, William, why the fuck would I play a game like that? He was like, dude, the, the trophies on there is easy as fuck. Just, j just do shit. And I'm like... Bet. <laughs> so I'm down that shit from your account. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm just ejaculating trophies, bro. I'm like, what the fuck, Joe? Are you fucking kidding me right now, Joe? <laughs> that, that, the two, like, we were just, dude, we was literally trophy fiends, bro. We was literally like trophy fucking hunter fiends, man. I wonder if people still playing, man, babe. I, I actually re downloaded the two when I, um, re, um, when I re built my PS3 and shit, Joe. You play your music and shit nowadays. Yeah, man. I, I was playing a lot of shit on that damn game, bro. Dude, we was introducing each other with a whole lot of crazy shit, man. It, it's just crazy how I went over your house, and then we were just showing and explore, exploring, exploring things and shit like that. And then that was also good. Those, those are the good days when you were showing me... Like, the fighting games and shit like that, man. When you was going to those fighting game tournaments every time you had a chance to and shit like that, man. And then Byron then was showing showing up and shit like that, man. Those were the good old days, bro. And it wasn't even that long ago. It was just, that was the times when we graduated. And that was when we was really going into the life of the world, you know. We was really just exploring our horizons, what we, what we really loved. And what we was really into and shit like that, man. Man, bro. Same thing with anime. We was getting ourselves into the, like the new genre of anime and shit like that. Okay. And then I remember when your ass was playing. I remember when you this one was playing the 360. We need this this before we even abandoned the 360, Marcus. We were still playing Gears of War and shit, bro. Remember when we was playing Gears of War at your crib? I was mostly playing Gears of War at your house. I, I didn't really play Gears of War at my crib. I'm only, I didn't only play Gears of War at your house when we was playing story mode and shit like that or whatever. And then Adam gay ass came over to our house and shit. He tried playing that shit. And I was like, Adam, get the fuck up out of here. This is me and Williams. Man. But I just want to nah, nigga. <laughs> I just want to play it nah, all, man. Just sit your ass right there and keep watching us play, man. Shit, man. That was funny as hell, bro. I was, um, man, we had some good memories back then, man. Very, very good ass memories. You ever touch Sonic Unleashed? I watched William play Sonic Unleashed. I, I, I bought. Did you even like Sonic Unleashed, William? Mhm. Mm was that another? Was that one of your other guilty pleasures? Yep. So what? What? Why was everybody shading that game? 
Because the werehog, that's it. That's all it was? Was a werehog? Like, that, that, that like, you, 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 did, did a werehog carry the whole game? That's what, that's how people was hating on the whole game? Nope. It didn't carry. Oh, so, like, what was the problem with the werehog? Was he, like, too clunky, or? For a Sonic game, it felt slow paced. Just like Silv on Sonic 06. Mm-hmm. Now I played enough of Sonic 06 to agree that that, that Silver was terrible. I, I did not like Silver like that. So what Shadow? I liked the Shadow, but Shadow did not need his own game. Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow don't need to have guns and guards. That game was terrible. I don't know what they was thinking. I don't know what they was thinking when they made that shit. They was listening to the kids. Yeah, that's all it was. And then the thing was, I traded that shit. You was with me when we went to GameStop. I was, you was with me when I went to GameStop, but I traded that shit back to get Shadow Colossus. Even the guy at GameStop was talking shit about me. He was like, you, what made you want to buy this? And I was like, dude, I was at this same GameStop when I bought this game. Y'all was recommending me to get this. And then you go try to say, so, oh, well, I wasn't here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have told you to get this shit. Yeah. <laughs> get Shadow of Colossus. You go like this way better than that Shadow game. <laughs> That's how he said that shit. <laughs> That's how he said that, bro. And he was not lying. Shadow of Colossus was off the chain. I love Shadow of Colossus. When I played that, I fell in love with that game. And a lot of games try to replicate that. A lot of games are trying to replicate that. It's crazy how Shadow of Colossus came out. And then all of a sudden, all these games... You fighting all these big ass enemies and you gotta press a, press a certain button to stay on top of them. Shadow of the Colossus created that shit, not God of War. God of War came out a year after Shadow of the Colossus. So it's like, come on, bro. Only difference is God of War is a hacking slashing game. Well, it was back then. Shadow of the Colossus was way more strategic. Now all this, now all these other games try to replicate that shit. And the thing is, God of War sold so well to the point where it, it it's above Shadow of the Colossus now. Now it's his own, now it's his own franchise. So what you got doing here right now, Willie? What's this shit? So they got into an argument. The black dude wanted to go rescue, wanted to go rescue the guy that got eaten up. But Gail talking about some, nah, fuck that. We need to keep our, keep doing our mission and find this damn doctor shit. So. You got to choose what you got to do? Yeah, which one you want to choose the side of? Gail's yeah. idea search for the clues to find Mr. Kirk. Uh, which, which one is more important, though? I was going to let you choose since this, is, since this is yours. I'm going to have to say rescue the comrade immediately if he's in danger. It's the guy that died. Oh, so if he's dead, then screw him. Then we gotta, if he's already dead, then there's no point. But they either they don't know. They still think he's alive. Oh, so you played it already. You already know. So at that point, we just got to look for clues then. If he's already dead, then there's no point to even try to rescue somebody that's already dead. That's like trying to bring somebody in the house that's already been passed on five months ago. What you, so which one are you picking? I'm picking Gail's idea. <laughs> Who head is that right there by you? Oh, that's JC. He knew I was talking about him too, because the way he turned his whole neck. You almost broke your neck, fam. I thought you was Michael Jackson Thriller. 